The Amalgamated Transit Union says that countless numbers of transit workers are assaulted in many ways every year. Sometimes it's a fair dispute. Other times there's no motivation other than violence. Now, while Hart says the attack that happened Saturday is isolated, they are promising action and real solutions. God bless you. That's what Justin McGriff said to Hart bus driver Thomas Dunn twice Saturday before stabbing him, according to this newly released arrest affidavit. We're on Nebraska line box. Right there, the guy just stabbed the bus driver. The report found no provocation prior to the attack. Dunn managed to park the moving bus safely before he died. Is the person who stabbed him still there? No, he ran off. Police later arrested McGriff, now charged with first-degree murder. Monday, a judge ordered him held in jail without bond. In his final moments as a Hart employee, he was a hero. Now, questions arise regarding driver safety after and before Saturday's attack. Five months since Dunn voiced his own concerns to Hillsborough Transit Authority about a passenger assault. Then the lady decides she's going to try to break my arm on the way out the bus, try to draw blood of my arm. We asked what specific action was taken after Dunn spoke. We develop corrective action plans and they're given to the appropriate division. And then we follow all our safety protocols to make sure that you know we're addressing them. Are you aware of any, any changes in particular? Um, one of the things I can tell you is in December we did a safety day of action. Moving forward, more action is promised. Hart plans to meet and brainstorm with transit leaders statewide. Such as FDOT, industry experts for a symposium on bus operator assaults so that we can find real solutions for some of these isolated problems. The Amalgamated Transit Union, which represents transit employees in the U.S. and Canada, is now demanding Congress pass the Transit Worker and Pedestrian Protection Act, requiring agencies to create risk reduction plans, install physical barriers to protect drivers, and retrofit or replace buses with left side blind spots. Saturday is a very isolated event, and we're committed to ensuring it never occurs again. Hart says they've invested more than $1.3 million in a new HD camera system so they can monitor passengers in real time from more angles while in contact with law enforcement. Now, there's no question it's been an extremely difficult couple of days for all Hart employees. Today, they held a moment of silence to remember their fallen colleague who, despite a horrific attack, ensured that all 12 passengers got off the bus safely.